All right, how to brother send me this uh, article here, DailyMail.com. Even Hillary can't fake a smile. Trump has repeatedly booed a series of mean-spirited Clinton jokes fall flat at traditionally light-hearted New York charity dinner. Uh, but at least they shook hands, and it goes into this whole thing. Um, very, very, very interesting symbolism. Very interesting things going on here. Um, I noticed Trump the whole way through. He's not doing it right there, but he kept making the 666 sign with his right hand. Uh, very interesting. Um, going down through here, uh, I'm going to talk a lot about this stuff, so I'm just going to kind of zip past some things here. But uh, this picture right here, the old saying, a picture is worth a thousand words. Um, this one's worth quite a few. Okay, I've been saying this for a long time, and I'm getting very, very, very ticked off when I see Bible-believing, professing Bible-believing Christians, I'll say it that way, coming out and saying, oh, we got to, you know, talking about this this election, like, oh, it's some kind of, you have a choice, and, oh, if we let Hillary win, it's going to be bad. Oh, and stuff, we got to vote for Trump here and stuff. You, you people are mind-controlled. You're under mind control. This is the real agenda right here. This is the real story. There's the American flag, subservient to the Vatican. They're flying the Vatican flag. He is on this Cardinal Dolan, Timothy Dolan. This guy's a very extremely wicked man, extremely powerful Catholic, one of the most powerful Catholics in America right now. And here he's got Chump and Hillary. But notice the uh, stand here. It's kind of like these two are almost like at attention militarily, and he's kind of at the parade rest or whatever. I thought that was interesting. But notice also the uh, circle of light there above his head like he's the saint and here's the two little servants of the Vatican oh but if we vote for the the right candidate the lesser of two evils then then we'll have you know a measure of freedom and and God knows our heart yeah God does know your heart and if you're even into this whole thing you're not right with God you might be saved I'm not saying that you're lost but you're not right with God Okay, you're out of fellowship with the Lord. You're falling for the stinking propaganda. This is the reality. The Vatican is in control. Let me show you some things here. Here you have just, I did a Google search on images, all this Al Smith dinner stuff and everything else there. I mean, you know, Clinton, Dolan, Chump. Why is he sitting in between these two? I mean, standing in between, but he's even sitting in between them. I'm going to show you some very interesting information about this whole thing. But, you know, it goes down through here, uh, you know, showing all this different stuff. Very interesting. But now I want you to look at this little screenshot here. This, well, this, it's just paused, the video is paused, of Hillary here speaking. Notice this guy right back here. All right. I'm going to just show you a couple things here which is very very interesting this is a psyop all right look at this first of all notice Hillary's necklace is a ruby necklace what does the Bible say back in the book of Proverbs who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies isn't it interesting uh, the the harlot in Revelation 17 the Vatican she's decked with precious stones speaking of a harlot Look back here, dressed in scarlet. And I'm sorry to show the cleavage thing there, but look at that. She's a harlot, decked with precious stones and gold. Hmm. Even her purse here is covered in precious stones. It looks like there's some kind of shiny whatever junk. But look at this guy right here. Look at this goon. I want to show you an interesting thing about this guy. Look at the thing he has around his neck. Also notice the red and black strings around his wrist. If I'm not mistaken, that's a symbol of the Kabbalah. Uh, you know, he's in a Kabbalistic magic, which is high-level Freemasonry. But speaking of high-level Freemasonry, three full debates. Let's just watch this a little and bit. And he says, "I don't." Shut up! It doesn't matter what you have to say. You're just a servant, a whore of the Vatican. Can't get close enough to make out what the guy's ring is. I don't know. But uh, I'm gonna wait till we see. A, uh, yes, there's the great cardinal there. Okay, you can kind of see it there a little bit. He 
keeps having his hands up there. Ah, you can't. Let me just wait till I can get a, a good shot at this. See if I can. Okay. You can kind of see it right there. This cross, this thing, and there's a crown above it. I we couldn't make out what these different metals are there on his shoulder. But let me just show you what this thing is. Okay, keep in mind what that is. Right here it is. This is the Order of the British Empire, OBE, for God and the Empire. Hmm. You see what's significant about that? Well, this order, if you do the research into it, you can look into it more, but it's a it's a British Commonwealth order. In other words, it's people that are subservient to the throne of England. The throne of England being subservient to the Vatican. It is a basically a Shriner level. That's why you just all I did here typed in Shriner order Shriner of the order of the British Empire. Okay, there are Shriners in with this whole thing. But look at some of the recipients of this thing. There you have Elizabeth Taylor. She has the medal. She is a Dame Commander of the Order of the British Empire. A Dame Commander? What would a Hollywood actress be doing as a Dame Commander? How about another one? How about Julie Andrews? The hills are alive with the sound of the Vatican. <laughs> yeah. A Dame Commander. Another Dame Commander. A Sodomite, by the way. Uh, I don't even know who some of these people are. You know, uh, Rod Stewart. Uh, okay, whatever. There. Got the thing. Um... Kate Winslet, another Hollywood harlot. Another one here, I'm not sure who this is either. Adele, whatever that is, received the you know, Order of the British Empire thing there. I mean, it goes down through here. Uh, this guy, Damien Lewis, got the knighthood. England football captain David Beckman, so it's not just Hollywood actors. And actresses, it's also sports stars being brought into this order. Isn't that interesting? 33rd degree Scottish Rite Freemason. There, Ernest Borgnine, or Borgnine, whatever. But a lot of these different people. I don't think there's any other ones I'm going to show here. Just looking real quickly. But So you have this guy sitting back here basically knighted essentially a knighthood which is what the Vatican does very interesting and here you can see it again behind Donald Chump notice the guy the harlot right there and it's ironic because there's another harlot up in here up higher up and she's got a purple dress on her colors are purple and scarlet. You say, oh, come on, you're reading into it. Uh, no, actually, you're going to see here in a little bit that this Alfred E. Smith thing, I'm actually, you can see it right here. Uh, if you look, it says, Annual Catholic Charities Fundraiser featuring Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. It's an annual Catholic charity fundraiser. $3,000 a plate. Now, right before they the election thing, which is going to be rigged. Uh, the Jesuits are going to put in whoever they want. And I'm going to give you my prediction on that here in a minute. But ironic that right before this thing happens, they're appearing at uh, this Roman Catholic charity dinner. Hmm. How about that? Isn't that interesting? But I want you to hear a few things from old Donald Trump here that, sh that the Bible believing Christians, uh, a lot of them are starting to try to rally around this guy. And, we gotta vote for Donald Trump. We got he's the best of the lesser of two evils. Uh, we gotta do our civic duty. Yeah. Let me just play a few things here for you. Now pay attention to what he says here. 16 minutes 35 seconds. Listen to this. We can also agree on the need to stand up to anti Catholic bias. Oh, uh, what? We can also agree to stand up against anti-Catholic bias? Did you hear what he just said? He's going to stand up against anti-Catholic bias. I'll play it again for you here. Net, net. The Cardinal told me that's net, net, Donald, remember. 
We can also agree on the need to stand up to anti-Catholic bias. To stand up to anti-Catholic bias. Well, then I guess I'm going to be in trouble, huh? Because I'm anti-Catholic. Because I'm against Roman Catholicism. Oh, but he's the lesser of two evils, right? Oh, you know, Hillary's such a wicked, you know, liberal and things, and she is. But he'll be so much better. They're both servants of the Vatican. Get it through your thick skulls, people. But let's continue here. I'll play a little bit more. He, he says a couple other interesting little buzzword things here. To defend religious liberty and to create a culture that celebrates life. America is in many ways divided. Yeah, devil there. He can burn in hell. Guy's disgusting. Thank you. America is in many ways divided like it's never been before. Okay, pay attention to what he says coming up. And the great religious leaders here tonight give us all an example. 666 with his hand. He's not saying okay. That we can follow. We're living in a time and age that we never thought possible before. The vicious barbarism we'd read about in history books but never thought we'd see it in our so-called modern-day world. Who would have thought we would be witnessing what we're witnessing today? Let me just pause it for a minute. Remember, he said there when I started this clip that we have to stop anti-Catholic bias, fight against anti-Catholic bias. And the religious leaders gathered here today are who we can look up to as he puts up the 666 single signal with his hands. Let's continue. Just listen to what he says coming up. We've got to be very strong, very, very smart, and we've got to come together. Got to come together, as he puts up 666. Not only as a nation, but as a world community. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Come together not only as a nation, but as a world community. He just called for the New World Order, people. And he's speaking to Roman Catholics powerful Roman Catholics at a Catholic charity dinner. Do you understand yet? He's Jesuit trained. Very, very smart. And we've got to come together, not only as a nation, but as a world community. A world community. Yeah. But it's interesting, because here this guy, this Gary Franchi, he's talking here, and he's always a patriot, you know, and stuff. Been on the Alex Jones program, get that one, program. And he's showing different clips of Donald Trump roasting Hillary. And I thought this was rather interesting, and this could be a nod to who the Vatican is going to be putting in as president. Breaking. What Trump said seconds ago burned Hillary alive with no MSNBC to put out the flames. Do you get the little subtle Roman Catholic reference there? Clinton, the friend of the Catholic Church. Hillary, the heretic. And they're both in the back pocket of the Vatican. Give me a break. I mean, her, her vice presidential running mate is a Jesuit, for crying out loud. Her husband is a Jesuit, trained at Georgetown University. It's professional wrestling, people. This is a joke. And if you're falling for it, you're falling for mind control. You're being brainwashed. But you see what's going on here? Trump, the hero of the Catholic Church, is going to burn Hillary alive. Burn her at the stake. See a little inside joke that's going on? But uh, check this out. This is very interesting, too. I'll play a little bit here. Notice the uh, mind control entrance to Fox News, Fox News, owned by Papal Knight Rupert Murdoch. Okay, notice the red and white pentagrams and the whoosh, whoosh sound. Here we go. Meanwhile, debate night between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton got testy at times. Really? Look at the hand signal. 
See, this would be a normal way of sitting there. This is not normal. This is a hand signal. Stee at times. Really? And he's a, he later on says in the interview here, we're not going to watch the whole thing, but later on he says that he's a faithful Catholic. And there's the uh, Cardinal Timothy Dolan right there. And again, pictured beside a harlot. Donald just... Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to zip ahead. It's, oh, we can we can work how things and agree to it, disagree and the whole deal here. But check out what uh, what goes on here about six minutes in. Let's watch this. October the 20th, you will have on one side uh, Hillary Clinton and yep. on the other side Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. I remember four years ago, Mitt Romney and Barack, Barack Obama. Obama were both hilarious. They were, yeah. They were. And that, of course, is the purpose of the evening. You know the tradition of the Al Smith mm -hmm. dinner. You know who Al Smith is, right? He was the first Catholic to run for uh, president in 1928. Ooh, whoa. Wait a second. So the first Catholic to run for president was in 1928. Isn't that interesting? And they've been honoring him ever since then by bringing presidential candidates together at this dinner. Hmm, how about that? But listen to what he says, what's, what's the reason that uh, Al Smith did not win? Listen. Trounced by Herbert Hoover. Historians would say probably because of anti-Catholic bigotry. Oh, historians would say because of anti-Catholic bigotry. No, because Americans had more sense back then to, that the Vatican is a political power and they didn't want a Roman Catholic, a papist, trying to run this country. Disgusting. But let's continue here. Play a little bit more. A tremendously successful governor of New York State, and they called him the Happy Warrior. And he gave us, even in defeat, he gave us a great example of what we were just talking about. Mm -hmm. A sense of humor, humor, a joy, trying to bring people together, trying to find the common ground. So my, one of my predecessors, Francis Cardinal Spellman, said after Governor Smith died, why don't we start an annual dinner mm -hmm. where we bring politicians together in a real climate of amity? Ah, uh, so it was Francis Cardinal Spellman, the wicked devil that that guy was. I mean, do some research into Francis Cardinal Spellman, who created this dinner right here. Hmm. Yeah, hmm. Interesting, isn't it? But let's zip ahead to uh, 8 minutes here, about 8 minutes and 40 seconds. We'll start about right there. Okay, now listen to what they say. Feel about uh, preachers uh, pushing a candidate from the pulpit. They're We're not allowed to do that, are they? <laughs> Come back here, I didn't quite get that. How do you feel about preachers pushing a pr particular uh, political candidate from the pulpit? Uh, yeah. Are you Are expecting you, that this year? I don't know. I'm ready for it. I'll have a couple martinis before right. him. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, because we know that Donald Trump loves the Bible. So you'll have a lot to discuss. So we hear. Absolutely. Right. So how do you feel about uh, preachers uh, pushing a candidate from the pulpit? They're We're, not allowed to do that, are they? What? They're not allowed to do that, are they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, like, totally. <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, she's referring to 501c3. And listen to what she says coming up. I mean, some yeah, ministers are. are. We Catholics are. not We have always taken seriously um, the fact that we can preach issues. We can talk about principles like and abortion. values. We can, you got it. We can talk about issues and the principles and, and ethics and morality that guide us. We should, we should stay away from supporting candidates, all right? So there's a big difference. Would you like to see everybody have that? <coughs> Would you like I to see think so. I don't know. Uh, did you hear that? Did you get that? Would you like to see everybody be like that? Or whatever he said there. You know, would you like to see everybody like that? In other words, that nobody should be allowed to talk about politics? I think so. Says the Catholic devil. Isn't it interesting? I think so. I don't know why we Catholics take that, what seems to be a, a principle that America reverences, namely that the altar should stay away from an overt intrusion into politics. We take that seriously. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we Catholics don't control politics at all. Yeah, sure. <laughs> what a liar. Other religions seem to get away with it. I don't... Seem to get away with it? You mean that there should be laws? The Vatican should have control? No, nothing like that.
Let's continue. I don't know why. So my priests, myself, oh boy, will we talk about virtue? Will we talk about morality? Will we talk about issues? We shy from we shy from getting partisan. You know the difference. Political is a noble thing. You talk about the, the blah blah blah. Let's continue here. We'll go to about into here and uh, listen to what he says. They actually talk. She actually Dimbo here talks about the tax exemption thing. Listen to this. A, a political pope who spoke about virtues, who spoke about the guiding principles of faith and freedom and the dignity of the human person. The but famously worked life, with politicians. But would work with anybody, yeah. whether they be to the left or the right. Or I was under the impression that I thought that preachers were not allowed to, they're allowed to talk about the issues, but mm -hmm. not endorse a candidate at the pulpit because they would lose their tax exemption if they did that. The yeah, check it out. I've been preaching this for years and years and years and years and years. Look at the hand signal again. <laughs> I mean, the people. It's just so in your face anymore. It's incredible. I think the, the legally, one. exactly. Mm -hmm. I've heard that too. I don't know if that's accurate. Why don't you try it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, I've heard that too. I don't know if that's accurate or not. He doesn't know about 501c3. Oh, please. <laughs> Stinking liars. This is such propaganda, people. Somebody and see if there's any blowback. Right? Don't, don't get my friend in trouble. No, don't do that. Do not listen to Brian. Cardinal, uh, I, I mentioned abortion because I, as a faithful Catholic, I hear that a lot. You uh, yeah. So there you go. As a faithful Catholic, you know. So it's just, it's insane. I don't think there's anything else I was going to show in this thing. But, you know, people, it's fake. Do you understand? The elections are rigged. The Vatican is in control. Both are servants of the Vatican. Do you not see it? This dinner is formed, it's founded by the Vatican. This whole thing, it's a scam. And I'm going to kick somebody here, because I'm getting sick and tired of this. Greg Miller comes out, never Trump Christians are dumb asses. Um, excuse me? Oh well, ass you see in the in the in the Bible is a donkey, and you know and things. So uh, people act like a donkey, you know that 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 uh, don't want to vote, and 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 it say you shouldn't vote for Trump and things like this. Um, don't use the Bible to defend your profanity. All right, and I'm not going to endorse Greg Miller anymore. This has just gotten too old. I've had numerous people, you know, he cussed me out, you know, and he's he's used some really really vile language against me and things like this. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This is going way too far. All right. Oh, you know, voting for the lesser of two evils is... This whole thing's a scam, people. Don't you understand? I mean... I don't even know what to say anymore. It's just so blatant. It's so in your face. You know, if you're going to go into this whole thing, then, you know what, just, just do me a favor. Unsubscribe from my channel. I really don't want you around. All right. If you're falling for this Vatican psyop type of a thing that, oh, he's so much better than she's going to be, he's the first man I've ever heard running for president that said we need to stop anti-Catholic bias. We need to fight against that. I never heard anybody else say that. But you're not convinced, are you? You just got that little ray of hope. Well, I just, I just can't think what would happen if Hillary would get in. I just I just can't think. Yeah, uh -huh. sure. You need to get right with God, people. Persecution is almost at our doorstep now.